Hey, welcome back. So we are just a few days away from the official start of the holiday season. And if just thinking about the shopping, the baking, and the parties, and the planning makes you tense up just a little bit, this next conversation is for you. Today, how you can end the burnout and begin the real celebration. Studio 5 relationship coach Matt Townsend says the key is to own it. I'm laughing because they're playing the Grinch music right now. Right? Are they really? Right as I introduced you. No, no correlation. No correlation. It's true. I am the Grinch, though. No, you're not. Burnout. People get burned out. Women especially, and, and I honestly feel like it starts to set in now. Like, oh, yeah. we're a, th a week away from Thanksgiving cooking, but it's still like, it's coming. It makes no sense. This is the time of joy. Isn't it? And peace. And there's no peace and there's no joy. And whose fault is that? Probably ours. Commercialization. Oh, you're going to no. blame it on the it's commercial. It's the commercial. No, you know what it is? It's ours. We can blame everyone else. We could blame America. Tradition. We could blame Republicans or Democrats. <laughs> blame anybody you want, but here's the truth. It's what we're becoming. If you're stressed at Christmas, it's because that's what you're becoming. You say it's kind of like a cycle we put ourselves in. It's always a cycle. So anytime you have something going on in your life, it's a cycle. This cycle is very simple. What you're becoming caused by what you're thinking. What you're thinking generates your feelings. Your feelings generate your doings. Your doings generate your becoming. If you're becoming stressed at Christmas, I guarantee you we could take that stress and look at what you're thinking. There's certain thoughts you're having right now as you're thinking about Christmas. Like, we were just talking about a tree. Mm -hmm. Our old tree that's in six pieces. So it's not a real tree. Okay. It's dead. So oh. we should buy a new tree. Yeah. We don't want to buy a new tree because we know in about two months we can get a tree for 25% of the price. <laughs> so we're going to wait, but that very thought of then decorating the tree and the lights and all of that, yeah. if the thought creates feelings that are negative, then we, we have to own it. So I'm going to show you we have to own a bunch of stuff as we go through this. Okay. First of all, own what you're becoming. If you don't like the holidays, own it. It's your fault. It's not your mother-in-law's fault. It's not your sister's fault. It's not your mother's fault. It's not Santa's fault. So that what are you becoming, it comes down to you, you. and your decision. Well, you're the one that's becoming a stress case at Christmas. <laughs> well, no, but I have to do that because everyone else makes me be this way. I'm laughing because you're so perfectly describing the mentality well, no, and the mindset. It's because my life. Everywhere. It's my life. What are you becoming? I went to a massage therapist recently, uh -huh. and I don't do that. I was going to say that. It's doesn't sound weird. like you. It's kind of weird. I mean, it's like, I don't know. It's weird. Did you enjoy it? No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But then she said, what? These were her very words. And I didn't know how to take it. She's like, what are you doing to your body? And I'm like, you mean this? <laughs> and she said, what are you doing? Because it's crying for a reprieve. Mm. And she, so she's blaming me for my body. Uh huh. But I could blame my life, my time, my energy. I don't have time. I'm too. So the reality is she got in my head. You're the one making your body. And it wasn't like you're whatever. You're not looking good. It's just if I'm sore and I'm exhausted, mm -hmm. it's my doing. If I'm stressed about the holidays, I need you to own it. Why would I want you to own it, Brooke? So you can do something about it. You can't fix anything you can't do about do anything about. So I want you to be, notice that if you're becoming something you don't want to become, mm -hmm. we need to do something different. So you need to own your becoming okay own your thinking all thoughts generate feelings okay so we have to own what we're thinking if you don't like Christmas and you're not a, you love it I do but if you're stressed about it and it's causing you a lot of anxiety I'll bet you box you could track it to some thoughts okay so thoughts let's, let's pause on that Give for just that. a minute because a lot of times we know that our thoughts affect our behavior yeah we know that yeah 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 but actually changing your thoughts is a really hard process it is see the funny thing about it is let's just not even worry about changing it at first let's just first notice the thought okay so when you think of something that really stresses you or burns you out about the upcoming holiday what's the thought like what activity, yeah. what responsibility. What um, wrapping gifts always stresses me out. Wrapping gifts. Behind the idea of wrapping gifts is the thought that you're going to have to wrap every yeah, gift. Yeah, I like right? buying them. I just don't you like wrapping buying them. Buying them. Now, Mark, does he like wrapping? No. Okay. So the <laughs> irony of that very thought, though, is stressful because it's something you don't like to do. Yeah. It's a thought you don't want to do. By the way, it's a thought that obviously has to happen, right? Right. Gifts have to be wrapped. I am not throwing them in a grocery sack. Don't you even tell me to do that. I'm not. Okay. Now watch though. The <laughs> thought is actually going to generate a feeling. Your thought that everything has to be wrapped uh -huh. is a thought that probably could be invalidated. They could be bagged in beautiful ways. 
that could be wrapped in even easier ways. I'm sure you've had guests on the show that could show you how to wrap it in some beautiful piece of linen. I, okay, burlap. With a bow on it's it. actually burlap. Oh, sorry. But there's something about people tearing into a, Chris a Christmas present Notice on Christmas morning. Another thought. Okay. <laughs> so what ends up keeping us stuck is our thinking, and we think it has to be the same way. Have you ever put sunglasses on your head and lost them? All the time. Well, why? They're right on your head. See, but the problem is we don't think about it. So if you don't own your thoughts, you can't own your feelings. Albert Einstein had a great quote that says, you can't attempt to solve a problem you created at the same level of thinking you were at when you created it. So if you can't, if you can't solve the problems in your life and you can't figure out how to have an easier holiday, mm -hmm. I guarantee it's because your thinking's not working anymore. Okay. How do you change a thought? Number one thing is I'd try to question it. Your thought that you have to have everything wrapped, it's not real. That's not a real thought. It's not. It's your thought. Right. But it feels real to you. Right. But there's people right now that don't even feel stressed about it. And there's people right now, you could pay to wrap your presents. There's, there's little idea. girls in your neighborhood that would pay, take big money to go wrap your presents. Now watch, the minute you actually realize, oh, I could have a little girl in my neighborhood wrap my presents uh -huh. and pay $30 to have all my presents wrapped, that might alleviate some of your stress and you'll feel different. So you're Feelings. questioning your own ideas, you're questioning your own thoughts in hopes of finding a solution uh -huh. that will... And when you, when you just have a different thought, by the way, go aggregate data. Most of the places you're buying stuff from will do your wrapping. So the irony of the very thought, it's not real. Most of our thoughts that keep us stressed out aren't even actual, so they're the, not real. the thoughts lead to the feelings, we own both of those. Mm -hmm. And then we feel upset and frustrated and anxious. Right, the next part of the cycle is the behaviors, right? We do, so we end up doing whatever we feel. So think about that, if you don't like rapping, you feel stressed about it, what do you end up doing? Being frustrated and honored as uh -huh. I sit in my living room and trying to wrap all these Every presents. present you get, you aggregate more stress and frustration. You delay, you delay, you delay. Mm -hmm. And then the night before, you're wrapping 50 presents, mm -hmm. which is stressful. Mm -hmm. So then our actions are actually created from the feelings and the thought. Then, by the way, you aggregate a bunch of Christmas thoughts. Like, we have to be perfect. It has to smell right. We have to be with our family. And everyone has to like each other. And everyone, someone has to sit by Uncle Larry. <laughs> and Uncle Larry smells. Poor Uncle Larry. We talk about him a lot on this show. But all of that goes on and then after months and months and months of all this doing, look what you become. You become a Scrooge a or a Grinch. Case, a Grinch. We're going to stop it this year. And we're having this conversation in the perfect timing, fas yes. timed fashion, I will say, because we're just getting into it, right? Yeah. So we can stop all it before it starts. All the holidays are coming up. Question your thinking. Before you go have this horrible holiday event, think about it. It's not going to be holiday. There's good, I mean, it's not going to be negative. There's some good things that happen on holidays. Yeah. And it doesn't have to go down the way it always does. It doesn't. Love it. Matt, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Great stuff. All thank right. You. Coming up.